hello capricorn welcome back happy new year um welcome to all my new subscribers thank you all for joining me today um this is going to be for capricorn sun moon rising venus and north node okay this is going to be your january 2022 reading capricorn okay i broke the month down in weeks so this is going to be your first week second week third week and fourth week so for your fourth week we had four cards come out and for your third week we had three so i just left out what spirit wants me to leave out or what popped out of the deck um and i'm just going to be clarifying these with the tarot for you okay so let's see what's going on um capricorn i hope you guys are doing well and it's having a really really good day okay so let's see i'm going to clarify these with tarot and then i have some other decks i'm going to pull from for you so <clears throat> so for your first week we have passion you're reawakening your passion and allowing it to transform into a sense of purpose for life no longer depriving yourself from the life you dreamed of and proving all your naysayers wrong okay i know that's right period okay now we have clearing you're finding alternative ways to find happiness clearing away energy that doesn't serve you anymore and aligning more with your highest self okay yeah so i feel like as you're clearing these things out you're finding yourself again okay you're seeing that there are a lot of things that you are passionate about that you do want to do okay so let's see let's clarify this why is passion here for um for capricorn yeah king of wands this is you okay you're in your power okay so why is passion here for capricorn please spirit why is passion here for capricorn for that first week of january <laughs> excuse me guys just have some chips okay the lovers okay and the the empress wow okay so <clears throat> you could be dealing with a gemini or a water sign or a taurus or libra so capricorn it looks like there's a divine connection a divine counterpart here that you have for some of you okay there could have been a sexual connection here that you're trying to get rid of because it was just sex okay because the lovers does stands for like sex uh, sex sexuality and shit like that so there's a connection here that you could have had with someone that was just based on sex and sex alone that you're ignoring okay you're ignoring this offer because you don't want it you're not satisfied you're focused on your empress you're focused on someone from your past that you could have met already possibly for some of you or it's just the fact that your soul just doesn't feel connected here. You don't feel connected with this person that you could possibly have been having sex with or whatever the case. Um, but the lovers is a choice, okay? A choice between two lovers. So you're making the choice to leave one of these lovers out in the cold or you feel very bored and discontent with someone. So I feel like you're leaving someone out. You're ignoring an offer because you're focused on the past. For some of you, you left your person out in the cold here. The person that you're actually supposed to be with, you ignored a divine offer and it was too because you were too focused on these cups down here or or the past okay but you felt very discontent with this so the reason why you ignored this i don't know i guess you know fear gets in the way anxiety gets in the way you don't know if you're making the right choice so i feel like for some of you there was a wrong choice that has been made <clears throat> okay and i feel like now for this first week of january 2022 you're going to be leaving someone out that you just don't feel the passion with anymore okay it was just sex and that was it you can't be with this person long term or whatever and you're going towards i feel like somebody that is more fitting for you where the sex is good the um you have a mental spiritual especially spiritual emotional connection with this person you know you have everything there so i do feel like you missed the opportunity with someone but i feel like you're going to be possibly choosing this person going back to this person or whatever because the, the passion lies with this person you feel a strong bond a strong connection to someone here okay this could also be if it's not a relationship it could just be you're finding like i said your passions in life okay you're you're reawakening to what you are passionate about because you feel discontent and you want to go somewhere else right so you're going to have a choice to make about that maybe between two jobs okay two things whatever but there's something that you're passionate about yeah, and you're tired of depriving yourself of what this is. So let's see. Why is clearing here for Capricorn? <clears throat> why is clearing here for Capricorn? Yeah, Ten of Cups. Wow. King of Pentacles, Ten of Cups with the world at the bottom of the deck. So for the source week, this shit looks good, Capricorn. I ain't going to lie to you. This is you here sitting on your throne, very stable, very grounded. Okay, um, 
very much in your energy okay you feel good <laughs> um the king of pentacles is somebody that loves loyalty they're very loyal to who they you know who they're with who they're committed to they're very loyal to themselves okay um this person is very trustworthy um so it looks like for the um this the first week in january it looks like you'll be committing yourself to a family situation this is about love it looks like for some of you so for your first week is going to be about a divine connection or a divine counterpart or just a relationship here that is going to fulfill you. For some of you, it doesn't even have to be that. For some of you, it could be a job that um, is going to help you level up or you're leveling up in a job. Maybe you're starting a business here, something that's going to take like a, like you're building a legacy. OK, it looks like you're building a legacy for your kids, for your family, and it's making you really, really happy. This is Ten of Cups. This is emotional fulfillment. This is joy. This is peace. This is harmony. Okay, so you could be harmonizing with someone, a connection that you're choosing to be loyal and dedicated to, or it could be a job. Okay, take it how it resonates. But I see that as you're clearing, you're finding more of your stability, your finances are looking good. Um, they're balancing back out if they were unbalanced. And you're going to have a good time this first week. Okay, you're closing out cycles and clearing things out that are not for you. And for that, you're being rewarded right you're being rewarded for your hard work for persevering yeah for persevering and uh your determination okay so yeah i see this is nice so for some of you guys you could be getting married you could be starting a family it just looks like this is this is nice i'm not even going to keep going over it because there's no point and there's no need <laughs> you have it looks like you're gonna have a good week this week so Let's see, for the second week, we have um, Leap of Faith. We have deep down, you'll know the key to creating the life of your dreams is on the other side of fear. It won't be easy to take a leap into the unknown, but just remember the universe will catch you. Okay, then we have clarity. The truth is about to be revealed to you, which will allow you to feel more at ease with the past events that remained unanswered until now, and suddenly it will all make sense. Okay, so let's see. Why is Leap of Faith here for Capricorn? Why is Leap of Faith here for Capricorn? All right, we have Temperance. <clears throat> okay, we have the Six of Pentacles, Death, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, so you're going through a major transformation here in the second week of January. You could have been going through this, but maybe this is going to be highlighted for this week. Um, there is something here that you're ending. You could be ending a situation where you were supporting somebody, giving to someone, okay? And I feel this taking off pretty quickly. I feel once you end things something here is going to be positive for you okay a positive turnaround a positive shift that is happening very very quickly um so yeah i feel like there's something here just coming to an end for your highest good it's for your highest good so just let it fall away and i feel like you're being supported from the universe you could be being supported with um from family and friends okay especially when it involves your money some of you all could be searching for a new job or um Damn it, Capricorn, the damn camera went off. <laughs> I forgot to delete this these other videos off my phone. They were taking up space. But anyways, so yeah, I was just getting ready to say that some of you all could be searching for a new job here. I feel like you're going to get good news about that. But overall, what I was saying was that when this ends here, whatever this is, is falling apart in your life. It's for your highest good. And I feel like there is good movement for it. It's going to be, I, I think I said um, something about a pressure cooker. There's something here that's been building up or something here that's been wanting to take place, but it's just been taking forever maybe to take off. So I feel like once this shit has ended, whatever this is, you're ready to take a leap of faith forward into whatever this is, okay? Um, I don't know if I said anything about communication that's coming in is going to be good news i feel like maybe somebody here you know this is a relationship that is ending for some of you so you guys can take a leap of faith towards a new one or just anything in your life i feel like that's going to be good i was also saying that it could be somebody here that wants to communicate with you maybe bring you some type of gift okay there could be a relationship here that's transforming i think i said that as well i don't think i caught that on camera but yeah so once whatever this is is ended i feel like just a fast positive forward movement okay this could be about romance here somebody maybe wants to bring you a gift to balance the situation out right so yeah that's that's basically what i was saying before the damn camera went off pissed about that whatever <laughs> so let's let's move on um let's see what clarity is why is clarity here for capricorn okay three of pentacles why is clarity here for capricorn damn three of cups they came out the same way can y'all see that yeah they can't that's crazy <laughs> 
So, yeah, there's been a situation that you are very iffy about, okay? You could be iffy about a third-party situation. You could be iffy about these group of friends, um, maybe a workplace environment here that you... Maybe a project here that you're collabing with someone on, okay? But it looks like a truth about a third party is going to be revealed to you. <laughs> Just period, because these threes popped out together. That's crazy. You guys could be seeing three, three, <clears throat> okay? But... <clears throat> the three of pentacles is all about partnership it's all about um growth expansion it's all about collaboration it's, it's all about contracts as well so maybe you're going to gain clarity about a contract um a collaboration maybe a work group uh project or something like that something about your money you're going to become clear about maybe you involve these group of friends or these people here and I don't know, it looks iffy to you. You don't really know if you should do it or not. Or you don't really know if you should, you should be with this group of people or work with these groups of people. And I feel like you're going to be clear about this here. But for some of you, this is a third party where someone got in the middle of you and your person. And I feel like you're going to be clear about that. Okay. It definitely involves some money or it could be a workplace romance or just a workplace something. I don't know. But... I feel like whatever this is is going to help you grow possibly because that's what the three of pentacles is about it's going to help you push forward and i feel like you know for some of you this could cause for a celebration so there could be um something going on in the workplace for some of you that is going to it's just going to cause for a celebration i don't know it's just going to you're going to like working with these people for some of you um you have fun with these people you could possibly hang out with these people that's just a story for some of y'all but I feel like maybe you're going to like a partnership here for some of you. You're going to like a... Because you might need to network here as well. But you're going to like working with these people. But mainly, for most of you, I feel like this is a third party. Okay? Because the, 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 the shit came out in the sideways position. So it's like both of them came out in the sideways position. So that's an omen. It's like you don't know. You're not clear about whatever this is. So I feel like, you know, somebody's maybe communicating with you that they ended something with someone. Okay? And yeah they, they want to work with you they want to build with you they want a partnership with you and it might cause for a celebration for some of you okay depending on your situation i don't know but yeah so let's let's move on let's see for your third week we have perspective you'll realize that there's only one thing you can change your perspective and find peace knowing that what you've endured has purpose even if you do not yet understand it Right. Then we have self-love. Your focus will be on putting yourself first and showing yourself the love you've been longing for because there's a desire to shift and rise up to something more meaningful. Then we have intuition. Your intuition is your superpower. You are harnessing your psychic abilities and learning to trust that inner voice to guide the decisions you make. Okay, so that's for your third week. Let's see. Let's clarify these. We have um, spirit wise perspective here for Capricorn wise perspective here for capricorn yeah what else one more okay five of cups yeah so you are going to be sitting in a bit of disappointment here this could be somebody you're connecting to either way just take it how it resonates somebody here is going to be sitting in a bit of disappointment feeling sad feeling regretful really looking at the past mistakes here because um you could just be feeling very disappointed capricorn but i feel like you're going to turn that around and look at something different with perspective you're going to like i said you're going to realize that you need to find peace in a situation okay you could just be really looking like damn like i can't believe these people hurt me or i can't believe this person did this to me like how could they blah 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 and i really feel like the third week is going to call for you to really um go within to really heal these emotions because you're still sulking in energy that is over okay something here this person betrays you or something here happened and ended really really bad but you've been pretending like everything is okay everything is fine you're not hurt but you really feel backstabbed you really feel betrayed so i feel like this third week is going to be about you shifting your perspective and looking at something differently here because you're still stuck in the past all right and you're going to realize that this is why maybe there's no movement forward or why something here is not moving forward because you got to show yourself some love, show yourself some support, okay? Maybe you guys need to go talk to someone as well. Yeah, it's like you're mourning something. So, but you haven't really had a chance to mourn. So I feel like maybe this third week is going to bring up those emotions, those feelings, those disappointments, okay? You really regret doing something for some of you. Yeah, so let's see. Why self-love here for Capricorn? why self-love here 
Okay. Five of Swords in reverse with the Tower. It could be dealing with the Scorpio or Air sign with this King of Swords and the Five of Swords. So, yeah, I feel like something here is leaving your life. This is this is causing chaos. It could be, but it's going to help you come out of chaos and conflict here. Okay, you're going to possibly, you know, if this is you sabotaging shit, I feel like you're going to learn your lesson in regards to this and you're going to be honest with yourself about what it is you're sabotaging why you're sabotaging it why you're running away from it why is your guard up why are you so cold why are you so distant why are you so emotionally unavailable and shut off okay if this is not you it's this other person whatever but i do see that you're coming out of conflict here and i feel like it's because you're showing yourself some love okay you're, you're learning how to put yourself first and you're just letting things fall apart that needs to fall apart because you know it's for your highest good and it's going to help you move out of conflict with something move out of confusion maybe somebody here was trying to manipulate you into something and it's like they can't do this anymore because you're deciding to love yourself first you're deciding to put yourself first you're not dealing with the bullshit here with this self-love card yeah, you want something more meaningful in your life. You don't want to keep dealing with the chaos and conflict. So I feel like this tower moment is going to be something like bittersweet. It's going to end, but it's going to help you move forward. That's just period. So, you know, so I don't know. The third week might be a little bit uh, rocky just because you're my fellow air, uh, um, earth sign. You just like to feel grounded and you probably won't in this third week, but it's going to push you forward. Okay, so. Why is intuition here for Capricorn spirit? Why is intuition here? Okay. So we have the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus and the Six of Swords. So yeah, this is your intuition. This uh, The Hierophant is like a guide. It's a spiritual teacher. Okay, it's a... Um, I was going to say confide. So maybe you guys are confiding into someone here. Um, make sure you're confiding into someone you trust though. But the Six of Swords and the Hierophant is all about a spiritual path, a destined path. So, yes, your intuition will be really, really strong. It's going to help you move forward. Some of you guys might be might be relocating here, might be moving. Okay. Um, there could be some travel involved. Maybe you guys need to get away for a vacation to calm your nerves, calm your mind. But I do see forward movement. I see something moving forward. I see moving things to calmer waters. I see your life. After this tower moment happens, I see something here just coming back together okay um yeah you're realizing that you could possibly be realizing that you are psychic you're listening to that inner voice okay you're following your guides because this hierophant is a spiritual guide as well they could be a spiritual guide maybe you're getting advice from a tarot reader a spiritualist or something like that and it's going to help you move forward but i feel like this is your inner knowing here okay because you guys are very spiritual it looks like someone is here and I feel like once you listen to that voice, you're going to be moving on, moving forward from something that was very um, tumultuous. Like this, this event has been possibly lingering for, uh, lingering for a very long time. Okay, so yeah, like I said, you guys could be getting help from someone, getting advice from a, a wise person, a wise guide. Okay, so um, you guys could be moving forward from a commitment as well, moving on from a commitment. You're just letting this shit fall apart because it's not meant to be here. Okay, maybe you're moving forward to a new commitment. All right, something that's better for you. Okay, so I feel like you are, um, your, your morals, your values, your beliefs are changing. Okay, you guys are very traditional, but there's certain things that you believe in. Okay, and I feel like you're moving into that because it's your path. So let's see. All right, so we have four cards for your fourth week. We have learning. You are being led down the path of unlearning and relearning to make smarter decisions as you navigate uncharted ground ahead. Trade knowing for curiosity. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. So then we have the unseen. Though life may seem uneventful to you, it doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes while you rest. Trust and surrender the universe. Okay. I mean, trust and surrender to the universe. Then we have delusions. You can stay holed up in your mind, wishing, waiting, and wanting, or you can get up and make changes. Don't get lost in the fantasy world when you can create a reality that is so much better. Okay, then we have reconciliation. An old love interest will come back wanting to reconcile and rebuild. It may be worth hearing what they have to say, but it's up to you if you want to give them a second chance. All right, so let's clarify these. Very interesting fourth week. So let's see, why is learning here for Capricorn? Why is learning here for Capricorn? Okay. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or Aries. 
Yeah. You're realizing that um, the way that um, you've been loving or the way that you've been shown love is not your love language. It's not what you want. You're relearning how to love or you're learning how to accept love because I feel like you've been very disappointed, very upset with your love life. Okay. I feel like you fell out of love with somebody as well and you're ready to just move forward. Okay. I feel like you foolishly or somebody here has foolishly gotten into a connection with someone that turned out to be a big fat disappointment. So somebody is relearning how to love, how to open their heart up. They're ready to take a risk, but they, they are still like disappointed in what has happened here with whoever and whatever this is. Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, just very sad. Okay, you're very sad about this risk. So you could have took a risk in the past that landed you this. This is why you're sitting in this energy. But I feel like for the fourth week, you are going to be... For some of you with the Fool and the Ace of Cups, it could be... For some of you, I'm so sorry to hear this, but um, you could have lost a child. I'm not going to say you are, okay? I, I'm, I'm just picking up that you could have lost something or lost a child or something like that. Maybe had a miscarriage. Uh, maybe you're having fertility issues and um, you're gonna decide to take another risk, okay, to do that. I'm sorry to hear that for some of you because I, I don't know the future like that and I don't know if you are or gonna lose anything or not, you know? So I ain't gonna speak that into existence. We don't want that to happen, just period. But for some of you, you could have lost already a child and um, you're very disappointed with how things are going with you possibly becoming pregnant or whatever. Okay, so that's the one thing that I'm picking up with this fool and this Ace of Cups in reverse. But um, yeah, there's been a breakup. I feel like you are just making smarter decisions. You're not just going to jump into anything anymore. You make calculated ri calculated risk. Okay, use your intuition. Don't just jump into something because it looks good. It's, you, you think it's okay, but you're not using your intuition. I feel like you're going to be learning how to do that come this third week. So that way when you go in, into this fourth week, you can make r the right risk. Okay. But I do feel like with this Ace of Cups in reverse, you're just learning how to um show yourself some love and you're learning how to Like I said, take risk that actually feel and look right. Okay, don't you're not going back in this this energy. This ace of cups in reverse. Yeah, you're walking away from heartbreak and betrayal. Yeah. You're relearning yourself. You're relearning what disappoints you in love, what's going to make you feel good, what's going to make you feel bad, what you actually want, what you don't want. I feel like you're going off of, off of your past. Like, okay, this is what this person did to me in the past. This is what I don't like, and I don't want to deal with it. And I feel, also feel like, you know, you feel disappointed in yourself a little, but I feel like you're coming out of that energy with the fool. You're ready for something fresh. You're not going to sit in this energy of feeling sad. Okay, you're just ready to move on, right? You're ready to move forward. It's a new week. It's about to be the end of the january come the fourth week so it's like let's just move on right so let's see why do we have the unseen here for capricorn what is the unseen about for capricorn for the fourth week please okay queen of pentacles there you are capricorn and the nine of cups bottom of the deck king of wands so yeah i feel like um I feel like with you surrendering to the universe here, which you can't see, it's helping you become more grounded because maybe, I don't know, you like to see things before they happen. And it's like, you can't do that all the time. You have to take risk, but just use your intuition while you're doing it. It'll help you make smarter decisions, smarter moves, okay? But I do feel like once you kind of like just rest and sit down like the Queen of Pentacles here, this is you. Once you just feel more grounded, feel more stable, do, do things that make you feel satisfied, happy, comfortable, just relax okay period just relax and let the universe work its magic for you because it's going to bring you your wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups you're going to be very happy very abundant and very successful with whatever you do it could be about your money your finances your home okay but i do see you being pretty stable and happy here okay it's just maybe you don't see this coming you don't see the stability coming you don't see this finances coming you don't see this business prospering you just don't see it but it's coming you're getting your wish fulfillment so keep faith 
trust in the unknown trust in what you can't see for some of you there could be a, um, a feminine energy that is your wish fulfillment that you don't see this person coming in your life or for some of you if this is you you don't see that someone could be coming into your life that is very stable very grounded very loving very giving very supportive okay this person is a good person. They are your wish fulfillment. This is something that you've been wishing for after all the disappointments and love. So that could be for some of you. Okay. You don't see that maybe somebody is coming in to support you, to help you get this abundance, to help you feel satisfied and successful. Okay. That could be a thing. Yeah. It's just time for you to rest and I feel like receive. Okay. So learn to be open to receiving here and letting this person in or opening up to this person if you have to. Yeah, because I do see good things right here with this person, whoever they are. Or this is you. You are the good thing. <laughs> okay, but you could have another earth sign in your energy or something. So let's see. Why is delusions here for Capricorn? What is delusions? Okay, just wants to flip over. So Knight of Cups and the um, Six of Wands. Beautiful. Yeah, so a love offer coming in here. Maybe somebody wants to apologize or express their feelings here. Um... um so i feel like somebody's finally moving because maybe somebody has been fantasizing about doing this for a long time like kind of like the card says stuck in a delusion they have to create their reality so if somebody's been manifesting you you've been manifesting someone you have to put in the action you have to make steps towards it you can't just say oh universe i want this and sit back and do nothing about it you have to make the steps towards this so i do see that whenever this offer comes into you it's going to make you feel good. For some of you guys, it's going to be a public offer. Maybe somebody is proposing to you. It's going to be public here. <laughs> for some of you guys, for others of you, I just see that you guys are maybe going to go out on a date. You know, finally be in public with each other. Enjoy enjoy time with each other. For some of you, you guys could be seen in the public eye. But you're going to get recognition for whatever this is, okay? Yeah, I feel like when this offer comes in, it's going to make you feel really, really good. It's going to make you want to celebrate. You're going to finally feel like you're recognized by this person. Maybe you thought that this person didn't see you or hear you or understand you, but they do. So they're coming in for a victory with you here. They want to win you back. They want to show you off. <laughs> they just want to be by your side. They feel like they can win with you or this is how you feel vice versa. But I do see once someone follows their heart here and actually puts in work for their manifestation, something here is going to be a win-win. Yeah. Yeah. This could be a relationship forming that is going to be nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Why is reconciliation here? For Capricorn, reconciliation, please. Okay. <clears throat> now the high priestess in reverse with the four pentacles. Huh. So for some of you, automatically, I'm getting whatever someone has been trying to hold back. A secret is coming out. <laughs> okay, that's number one. Um, for some of you, I do feel like you are reconciling with someone, right? But then we have this person here, this high priestess in reverse. That is a false like prophet to me. This person gives you false information. If they're a tarot reader, they give you false information. This person also could possibly be using their sexuality to, to bring you back in. I also see that somebody has been saving themselves here because they're they're tripping okay i feel like an energy of someone someone having a high like sexual tension because they've been so keeping themselves um stuck or keeping them you know celibate somebody's practicing celibacy they've been holding back from having sex okay so that's nice shit but they are frustrated though they're like don't come towards me with this bullshit because i don't have time okay just period um For some of you guys, I'm really seeing fertility issues, okay? Not to keep bringing this up, but the High Priestess in reverse, the Ace of Cups in reverse, is giving me fertility issues. That's a story for someone, okay? You know, I hope not. I really, really don't. Um, so, so, okay, so with this reconciliation, you could be wanting to reconcile with somebody or this, I don't know, for some of you, this is a new love offer that's coming in. With the knight of cups but you want to reconcile with somebody but it's like someone not really listening to their intuition they're repressing what they feel okay they're repressing the actions that they need to take right they keep holding back 
somebody's intuition could be blocked here because they're trying to control a situation they're trying to control the outcome of something maybe someone feels like they don't have enough to offer you so they're trying to save up money they're trying to do whatever they can to keep blocking you out so they can do what they have to do to come in the right way so they're blocking their intuition Somebody here could be very possessive and controlling too, because with the high priestess in reverse, it does talk about outbursts. Okay, this person is uncontrollable. I don't know. This is weird. Let me see. Let's clarify something. This could be somebody in your life that wants to reconcile with you, but maybe you don't want to be with them. You're, you're heading somewhere else. What is this high priestess in reverse? Could be dealing with the Pisces. What is this high priestess in reverse? Yeah, the nine of wands, nine of swords. You guys could be seeing nine, nine. Okay. Yeah, the nine of swords and the devil. So, okay. So this, this person here. So I'm feeling two energies now. This is this third party situation popping back up for the fourth week. So you're going to win with somebody. Somebody here you're going to win with. You want to be with this person. They're very grounded. This is Queen of Pentacles right here. This Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody could have this heavily aspected. Or this is just you and all your glory. But I do see a love offer coming in towards you that you are going to like. Okay, with the Six of Wands and the Knight of Cups. It's going to be a victory for you. But then we have, when I clarified reconciliation, we have this High Priestess and the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So, I feel like you're going to be very guarded towards this person. They're trying hard to hold on to you, okay? And I feel like for some of you, you're not giving this person a second chance. You're ready to give someone else a second chance or you're ready to start new. Because this, pers this person right here has disappointed you too many times. Okay, with this high priestess in reverse, four pentacles, they could be very controlling, very possessive. Okay, very guarded type of person. Or this is you holding back from who this person is. You don't trust them. Period. So somebody could be wanting to reconcile with you in the fourth week and you're just like, no, no. <laughs> I just I just don't want to be with you here. Somebody here could be sexually frustrated and just relies on you for sex or they want to have sex with you and it's just like, no, I'm moving on. I'm moving forward. This person doesn't listen to themselves. They don't trust their intuition. They don't know who they are inside or out so you're blocked from this you're you're blocking this completely and because this person here it's just like they they beat you up like okay they they really made you feel a certain type of way when you were dealing with them so it's like no you've been disappointed too many times with whoever this is so yeah very interesting reading here so let's put these away and move on Capricorn, let's see what we have for your career and finances for each week. Okay, let me write something down, Capricorn, before I move on. Okay, Capricorn, January 2022. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so, let's leave these out for my thumbnails. So, okay, so for your career and finances, let's move on here. So, for January 2022, the first week of January um, for Capricorn Spirit, what do we have the first week of January 2022 for Capricorn? Please give me clear messages in regards to Capricorn's money and finance, I mean, <laughs> career and finances. What do we have for their first week? of January 2022, please. Okay, first week of January 2022. Okay, first week of January for Capricorn 2022. All right, so we have growing up. It's time to step up into your power. It's time to step up into your own power and stop engaging in childish qualities. Don't rely on others to help you and care for you. This mess is yours to clean up. Avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all the skills to make your own. Okay. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody could be codependent here. And somebody is having to grow up and leave a situation alone because it's not healthy. Okay. There could be a codependent relationship or something. For the second week, Spirit, for Capricorn, what is happening for the second week, please? Okay. We have... Persistence. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Success is just around the corner. Follow through with what you set out to do consistently until you reach your goal. 
hard work is required to keep building on your finances okay so you're you're gonna be working hard the second week okay being persistent all right really working on yourself and um your money okay capricorns are really hard workers so that's not a problem with you just make sure to get rest capricorn okay so let's see for your third week what do we have for capricorn's third week spirit success will find you okay so your third week looks good shit your third week looks good that's that's nice okay for capricorn's fourth week what do we have All right, we have student. Work with a mentor to learn new skills or teach you how to implement your plans. You could be in school to pursue higher education or work for a school district. Teach yourself to succeed with money or get a financial advisor to teach you, okay? All right, so that's for your career and finances, okay? So let's move on. Let's move along. Let's see what you need to hear from this deck for your first week of January, 2022. Capricorn spirits uh, for Capricorn's first week in January. What do they need to hear? What does Capricorn need to hear for their first week in January 2022? Okay. Last shuffle. Okay. <clears throat> for Capricorn's first week of January 2022, what do they need to hear for their first week of January? 2022 all right we have find a mentor this is the second time they say something about a mentor so maybe you should really get like a, somebody to coach you with something maybe your finances or your love life i don't know maybe you guys need to see someone and talk to someone okay but it says find a mentor in your field who can help you reach your goals faster okay this looks like it's about a career or school some of you guys could be going back to school or in school Okay, Spirit, for Capricorn's um, second week of January 2022. Capricorn's second week of January 2022. Oh, damn. Okay. So we have throat chakra. Throat chakra is out of balance. Okay, so there's something you need to communicate, but you can't. Okay, try singing, try humming. Okay, there's other things you can do for your throat chakra. Just look those up. Okay, maybe wear blue to help your throat. For this second week okay we have practice gratitude take time to acknowledge what you're grateful for okay then we have go full introvert spend time alone to experience appreciate and love yourself and then we have music music can heal wounds that medicine cannot touch some of you guys are artists some of you guys can sing really really well or rap or whatever and you need to express yourself through music okay speak about your pain and your music or i don't know Hmm. Okay, for Capricorn's third week spirit. For Capricorn's third week of January 2022. All right, we have bounce back. Don't give up. All is not lost. Get back and get back up and keep trying. Okay. What is coming for Capricorn in their fourth week, or what do they need to be hearing right now for their fourth week? Okay, we have give less fucks. Okay, this is the key to life, guys. <laughs> Stop giving a fuck. <laughs> The less you give a fuck, the happier you will be. Okay, period. I like that. That's my favorite card on the whole deck. <laughs> Just period. So let's see. Let's get one card from here. Then we're going to pull some angel answers. Then we're going to close out. So Spirit Guides Angels for Capricorn, January 2022. Let's just pull one card. This is a new deck, guys. So let's just see what cards you get for your January 2022. One card for Capricorn, January 2022 okay please and thank you spirit for <clears throat> okay capricorn spirit january Too, that's fine so we have the first card is outsider misfit loner wanderer 
And then we have her last day in the light. Unexpected endings, surprise changes, and sudden shifts. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys might be going through a little bit of Dark Knight of the Soul energy because something here is going to happen unexpectedly. It's going to shift things. It's going to change things. And you're going to have to adapt. Okay, be flexible to the to these shifts and changes here. That's one. So I understand that one pretty good. Then we have, what is this? Misfit, loner, wanderer. Let's see what the book says about this. Some of you guys feel alienated, like you don't fit in with others or you don't, you know, belong. But that's not true. So maybe you're not meant to fit in. So it says the blessing about this card is you have been given the opportunity to find your own way and to see the world from a unique perspective. This will give you great creative, artistic and spiritual opportunities. Yeah, for a lot of you, it's music. OK, that's what I'm hearing strongly, very strong or uh, creative, like writing You're some type of artist. You guys need to write or something. So the curse will be being outside the tribe, searching for home, lack of comfort. OK, so that's how you guys could be feeling. You could be feeling like that, but there's a blessing in it, though. Then it says, working with this card, accepting the outsider's position for now, you can observe and watch and see and record. This will help. This will make you a valuable writer, artist, teacher. Your unique perspective will be greatly valued. Yeah. Come on, Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, some of you guys need to, to hone in on that energy, okay? Because, yeah, that's what I was feeling. Okay. So let's pull the angel answer. All right, let's see. For January 2022 spirit, let's get two angel answers for Capricorn. All right, we have there something better. And then we have let go. Yeah. And then we have big happy changes at the bottom. So well, I feel like once you let go of whatever this is or just release it energetically, you'll feel better. Okay. You're, you're going to realize that something is better. Just let go of the situation and let it be. Let the tower fall where it needs to fall. So that way you can bring in these other opportunities. Because it looks like you have a lot here. Right? So, you know, it, you'll get there, Capricorn. Don't worry. Okay. So... This was your reading. I hope you guys resonated with it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.